Hey everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to show you what the newest MacBook Air with the M1 chip is like for specifically Android development. Um, I'm an Android developer uh, professionally and there's been information online where folks had trouble with the emulator um, but normally I don't use the emulator so um, I wanted to show what the experience is like for just Android Studio with the physical device. Um, I know there's no optimized version for Android Studio yet, but I just wanted to see how fast builds are with um, Rosetta 2 um, and whether that's good enough for my workflow. Um, so yeah, this video will go through how I went from, you know, just a Safari browser to a fully set up Android development environment um, and also share any tools that I've used along the way. Um, so yeah, enjoy. Uh, cool, and let me just jump over here and let me show you some stats. So I got the 16 gigabyte memory version of the MacBook Air. And um, storage is 256 gigabytes. Uh, yeah, that's about all I got. Alright, so in this video I am going to start with downloading Android Studio. Um, so I went to the website and um, yeah, I went to the website and clicked download. Okay and there we go so um, let's let it download for a sec and then i'll return once things are downloaded uh cool and then i'm going to look up this tool called scrcpy um and what this tool does it allows me to share what's on my android phone that's plugged into the computer um so yeah that's what i'm doing here Um, and I just need to change my scroll position a little bit here, so that's what this is doing. Um, and yeah, cool. So let me look through the docs. Uh, SCRCPY um, looks like I need to install Brew, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Uh, yeah, and then the next part, I'm just basically installing Homebrew, and it's going to take a while, so I'm going to speed up the video. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to check out some YouTube videos, maybe play a 4K video and see uh, how well the quality is. Uh, yeah. Uh, cool. So cool. So this next bit is just me waiting for Brew to download successfully and install. Um, and also me waiting for Android Studio to download and install. Uh, cool. Looks like Android Studio uh, successfully downloaded. Uh, let's open that up and drag that into the application folder so that we can um, start opening it. Uh, it also looks like the brew completed, so I'm going to execute the command to install Android platform tools, um, which we need for, um, I guess, ADB. So I'm going to do that both right here. Uh, cool, looks like uh, Android Studio is being open right now, so I'm going to do that, and it's going to ask me to download a bunch of uh, packages. Um, so yeah, that's also going to take a while, so I'll speed this up as well. Alright, looks like there's more homebrew things to be installed. So yeah, let's let this uh, download all the packages and um, get Homebrew up to date. Uh, 
All right, so that screen sharing tool uh, has now successfully installed and let's plug my device into the computer and let's see what we see. So I'm gonna run this command line um, and yeah, let's see if this pops up. Okay, cool, so I have a Moto G4 right now and awesome, look, I can see what's um, being clicked on on the device. Uh, this is awesome. Looks like it works out of the box. All right, here is some more uh, downloading. All right, looks like it finished downloading and it's done. So yeah, as you can see, there's an error where it says it can't support hardware acceleration. Um, sorry, hardware virtualization, and that's expected because we don't expect emulator to work right now. Um, yeah, so let's create a map application. Um, and yeah, let's let the code compile. So at the very beginning, it needs to index all the files. This usually takes a long time, regardless of what computer you're on. So yeah, I'm actually going to let this run in real time so that you all can see how long this takes. So I won't speed up the footage here.
All right, I was just monitoring CPU, but now it looks like it finished building and I can actually install it on the, the, the phone now. So let's see how long that takes. Oh, it's not that too bad. Okay, so it installed pretty quickly on the phone. Um, cool, now next thing that I wanna do is I wanna see what happens if I edit code and see how long it takes to compile and actually uh, update on on the device. So let's make a toast. Um, looks like it's a little bit slow with uh, figuring out that I need to import that. Um, and yeah, let's see. Once I've imported the toast library, I can. Um, let's just see how quick the autocomplete is. Okay, so it found text length long. Not too bad. I'm just gonna add another one here. Um, and then let's. Mm, Let's edit the XML just for fun. So if I go to uh, activity underscore maps dot XML, uh, let's see how long the design part of it takes. Okay, a few seconds. Um, and looks like there's one fragment. Let me just make some XML changes and let's see what's going on. So I'm gonna add a let's add a text view within this fragment and let's just uh, put whatever we want. So let's do width of um, content length, and let's do the same for the height. <clears throat> um, it's not, it's pretty smooth right now. Um, I'm just gonna add some text here. Uh, yeah, let's just see if we can get this text to appear. And let's see, why is, why is wrap content in red? Interesting. Um, hmm, I'm not, it's not really a typo. If I do match parent, that's also in red. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, maybe it's something else. Let's see. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. It's the wrong uh, keyword, so that should be good. Let's see if design updates. Okay, cool. Um, let's just give it some ID. I don't think it matters for the purposes of this video, but let's just give it some ID. And yeah, let's see how long that takes to update. Okay, so less than 10 seconds, eight seconds, maybe closer to nine seconds. That's pretty good. At least bit relative to the other devices I've been working on. Um, it's pretty good. Okay, cool. And yeah, I guess, okay, so one thing to note is that the toast isn't, um, I made a typo here, the toast isn't showing because I didn't do a dot show at the end of the code. So you will not actually see that happening. Um, oh, I made another code change. Let's see how long that takes. Oh, five seconds. Okay. Um, this is actually pretty quick, honestly. Um, this running on Rosetta 2, whatever that means, it's is actually pretty fast. It's faster than my old laptop, which is a MacBook Pro 2015, so significantly faster. Um, uh, awesome. That's cool. All right. Uh, that is the end of this video. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, please subscribe. If you have any additional questions or any suggestions for things that you like me to try on this particular laptop or any other laptop, uh, don't hesitate and leave a comment. Um, thank you very much and see you next time.